The D-Link DIR615 makes it easy to create a high-performance wireless end network. Notice that your router may look a bit different depending on when and where you bought it. To set it up, just plug it in and connect the cable from your cable modem or DSL router to the port marked internet. The power LED on the front will turn orange, then green. There's another LED that shows when your internet link is active. It will blink green if your connection is live, or orange if there's a problem. A third LED that looks like waves blinks green if the router is emitting a wireless signal. Software setup is easy. Connect your PC to one of the high-speed Ethernet ports on the back of the DIR615. If possible, use the same computer that was originally connected to your cable modem or DSL router. You can also connect to the wireless network created by the DIR615. The default name, or SSID, is D-Link. After everything's connected, turn off your cable or DSL modem, wait a moment, and turn it back on. In many cases, your internet connection will work automatically, and you can skip right to setting up your wireless network. Otherwise, you'll need to configure the internet connection yourself. After you connect, open a browser, type HTTP, colon slash slash 192.168.0.1 in the address bar, and click go. To configure your router, you'll need to provide the administrator password. The first time you log into your router, the password will be blank. You can set up your internet connection using the handy internet connection setup wizard or enter your settings manually. Let's go through the steps using the wizard. First, enter a new administrator password. You'll need to provide this to change router settings in the future. Note that this is not the same as the wireless password. You'll enter that later. Next, choose your time zone. Now you'll need to configure your internet connection. This step varies depending on how you connect. Several larger internet service providers are listed in the drop-down box for you to choose. Select yours and follow the instructions on the screen to finish setting up your connection. Call your ISP if you have any problems. If your internet service provider isn't listed in the box, you'll have to do a little extra work. First, select your connection type. If you're not sure, check with your ISP. If you use a cable modem, you probably have a DHCP connection. Choose that option and click Next. You won't usually need to change any settings on this screen, so click Next to continue the setup process. If you do have any problems, your ISP can help. If you use DSL, you most likely have a PPPoE connection, but again, you'll want to double check that with your ISP. Choose the option and click Next. You'll need to enter a username and password, as well as several other items. You should have received this information from your ISP when you signed up for service. If not, give them a call. Once this info is entered, click Next. On the following screen, click Connect to save your settings. Wait a moment while your router reboots. After it's done, your internet connection will be ready. Now it's time to configure your wireless network. Start your browser again and go back to http colon slash slash 192.168 Dot zero, dot one.
If you set an administrator password before, you'll have to provide it to log in now. Select Wireless Settings on the left, and then choose Wireless Network Setup Wizard. On the next page, enter a network name or SSID. Next, choose Manually Assign a Network Key. That's just your wireless security password. This is the one you need to connect to the wireless network. Assigning it manually means you can choose one yourself. Otherwise, the router can create one for you. Finally, click the box that says Use WPA Encryption. It's more secure, and it works with almost all modern computers, tablets, and smartphones. After that, click Next. Now it's time to enter your wireless security password. You'll have to provide this the first time you connect to the network. Please note it should be different from the administrator password that you set when you configured your internet connection earlier. The wireless security password must be at least 8 characters long. It can include both letters and numbers. When finished, click Next. Review your settings and then click Save. Wait a few moments while your router reboots. After it does, your high-speed wireless end network will be ready to use. If you have any trouble or make a mistake during setup, no problem. Just press and hold the reset button on the back of the DIR615 until the LEDs on the front change. This returns your router to its original factory settings, and you can restart setup from the beginning. To connect a mobile device, just choose your wireless network and enter your password. For more information, visit dlink.com.